Hi guys, uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a uh, LVM. Um, I have two external disks where uh, SDB and SDC with a uh, 2 GB of size. Mm, for first creating LVM, we have to create the partition. Slash dev sdb n. I'm going to give entire hard disk so the size of it is just 2 GB. So, and I'm going to set the type and list L for list the type of code. Here you can see AT Linux LVM. Okay, it has been changed to Linux to Linux LVM, the partition type, and then write part probe. Okay, on uh, this, there is an error, you no need to worry about that device. Once this is done, um, again, I have to create another disk and same procedure. I'm going to give entire disk and set the type AT okay and W to write part pro okay that's the LK okay our two device disk has been created and then next thing you have to do is you have to you are going to create LVM for that first thing is physical volume and second is volume group and last panel one is logical volume for that you have to give PV create slash the sdb1 slash the sdc so sdc1 ok physical volume has been successfully created for checking the details you can give pvs or else you can give pv display where it will display a lot of information about that physical volume ok and let's create logical volume lv create lv name uh, slash dev sdb1 uh, slash dev sdb ldc1 there is a syntax error i'm sorry uh, there was a syntax error where i should have given uh, VG create I have given LV create VG create VG has been successful with created you can check it out here size of 2 disk or 2 GB 2 GB where it is 4 GB okay and um, disk PV2 volumes okay now let's create LV create logical volume iPhone capital L for the size you can give 3G I'm going to give 3GB okay and then iPhone name for the name and uh, LV1 and VG name okay volume group is not wrong oh, oh okay I have made a mess. Um, let me give here one two, and here let me change to LV. Here I have created a VG name with LV one. That is why it is not taking. So um, for now I'm going to give LV one two and LV one. Okay. Yeah, LV one two has been created. 
by giving LVS it will display okay where LV name is LV12 and VG name is LV1 okay let's try to change the name of VG so it will be um, little bit less confusion for that uh, you can use VG rename and uh, old name of VG LV1 and uh, new name yeah volume group of LV1 successfully renamed to VG1 okay once this is done you can check it out again LVS and here you can see it has been renamed okay let's create a um, file system and mount it mkfs dot ext4 slash dev vg1 lv12 ok it has done let me create a directory mkdir fp slash lnt slash lvm ok directory has been created let's add the entries in the first step using menu editor I'm adding slash dev slash vg1 slash lv12 slash mnt slash lvm that is a mount path and defaults zero save this yes and let's mount it unknown file system okay I forgot to add the file system um, ext4 Okay, it has been successfully mounted to check whether it is mounted or not by giving the command mount it will should display in the last one where slash dev mapa vg1 often lv1 has been mounted on directory slash mount lvm type ext4 file system and uh, it is now read and write real time data ordered okay uh, it is pretty much about lvm creation and uh, in next tutorial i'm going to show how to extend the lvm and uh, reduce the lvm using lv reduce and lv extend okay thanks guys thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel